common sayings we take for granted that we shouldn't be saying anymore, which are unknowingly highly offensive. Number one, when you reach the tipping point, when a change or an effect cannot be stopped. This sounds harmless enough, but this phrase was used in the 1950s and 1960s to describe how white families would frequently leave their neighborhood once the majority had been taken over by African Americans. Number two, rule of thumb. According to experts, it has to do with an English law from the 1600s that permitted men to beat their wives with a stick as long as the thickness was no wider than his thumb. So put your thumb away. Number three, long time no see, was first spoken by a Native American, long time no see, mocks the Native American's broken English, please don't use it anymore. Number four, Eskimo, it is incorrect to refer to the indigenous people of northern Canada and Alaska as Eskimo, the term is essentially derogatory and comes from the Danish loanword Ashkimek, which means eaters of raw meat. If you're a non-native, please use Inuit. Number five, calling someone a basket case. This idiom for a person who struggles to cope first appeared during World War I to depict a person who needed to be carried in a basket after losing all four of their limbs. Number six, no can do. The sentence no can do as a cause for seeming like broken English. The expression first appeared in the middle of the 19th century as a method to mock simplified Chinese pidgin English, a time when Westerners frequently held racist views of people from the East. So hopefully people will refrain from using these old sayings in the future and the next time you hear someone using these sayings please ask them to stop immediately and explain to them the reason why thanks for listening